Come in. Hi then. Oh, yeah. Mr. Lemon, good to see you. Sorry I kept you waiting such a long time. Is it possible to get a glass of water or a food and Yeah, sure, take a seat. Like Not a problem, you take a seat there, I'll be with you in just a second. <laughs> I've got a patient with me, but um, oh, right. you can bring him in. Okay, if you like. I'll move them into my room, and then I'll come into your room when you're finished. All okay. Feel really peculiar, all of us. I don't know why. Is that? Have you been feeling like this all day? Is that why you've come to see me, or is it just just happened now? No, it just happened out there. I've just come over. And I feel like light-headed. Okay. Ever had an episode like that before? No. Ever fainted? When I cough too much, I faint. Okay. I pass out, which has happened, I don't know how many times, but... Any feeling of your heart's racing at all? No, but I'm getting all hot and I feel a bit sweaty and cold and I don't know. OK. Very odd. Do you mind taking your jacket off in a minute so I can just check your blood pressure? Mm -hmm. What was it that actually brought you here to see me today? Um, I need uh, my doctor's certificates right now, and I need uh, um, some of my tablets. Some more tablets. Oh, sorry, I feel really straight. Just relax. Okay, just roll your sleeve up for me. Okay, do you mind just standing up for me? Mm -hmm. If you stand up, that would be fine. You do? Yeah. And is it a definite dizziness or is it the actual room spinning? I feel lightheaded. I don't know. I can't mm -hmm. really explain it. Sorry, let me just get I've been sleeping funny as well. I haven't been sleeping too well. Do you find yourself falling asleep? Like uh, at times when you wouldn't expect to fall asleep? Yeah. Do you mind just um, sitting on the edge of the bed for me? Yeah. Anything else changed in your life over the last couple of months? No. No? You got into any bad habits? Uh, drinking too much or.? Yeah. Uh, I do drink beer every day. How much alcohol do you drink? About five cans, five, six cans. Five, six cans of what kind of uh, drink? Stella. Stella. Yeah. So that's, what is that, 5.4% or something? Five. 5%, yeah. OK. Would you consider that too much alcohol? Do you know that's yeah, bad for you? Yeah, it's too much alcohol. How long have you been drinking that much, do you think? Oof, I don't know, a long time. It's six months, a year? More than that, probably about eight, nine years. Do you drink alone? Mm, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And do you live with anyone else? No, it's by myself. Okay. Do you mind just sitting down, lying down flat for me? Yeah, there's a little bit of pain there. Yeah? Mm, a little bit. I think, if I'm honest, I think there's a few factors. Did you have five lagers last night? Yeah. I think if you've been drinking five lagers, cans of lager every night for nine years, You've done, you guarantee you've done damage to your liver. Yeah. Giving bad news to anyone um, isn't an enjoyable part of the job, but unfortunately it's something you have to do on a regular basis, and there's no beating around the bush, you have to be completely honest. It's definitely a regular part of the GP's job. If someone drinks that volume every day, you can't just suddenly stop because you can get into problems with withdrawal, but you certainly do need to cut down, and that might be changing the routine from five drinks a night to four drinks a night for a period of time, down to three drinks a night, and take it from there. I can't tell you that you want to stop, but if you feel like you're ready to stop or you want to think about cutting down, these are the people that are going to be able to help you. I mean, does that sort of scare you or does it stress you out? Or what are your thoughts on what we just spoke it, about? Yeah, it does kind of scare us, because I know I'm drinking too much. Mm -hmm. But I think it's just because I'm always in my my room, my bedroom, I never go out, I never do anything, my legs always mm. go cold, giving away all one day, it's OK, the next day it's not. I think it's just that, because I've been, like, stuck in the house for, like, nearly two, three years now, you know, not been able to do anything, so I go out now and then, but not as much as yeah. a normal person would opt for my age. I'm sorry you had a tough time lately, but I'm glad we've kind of stumbled upon it almost by chance because it means that we can got the opportunity now to try and improve your situation a little bit, not just with your health, but also with, you know, how you feel in yourself and yeah. your outlook in life in general, really. Ooh. Our priority now is to get the blood test done, to sort out, see what, see where we are with, with the liver situation. But next time I see you, hopefully 
you'll be able to tell me that you've cut down a little bit, mm -hmm. and then we can take it from there. 